What is up, internet friends and family? It's your host, the Video Game Junkie, bringing you with a new huge news update from DICE. <sighs> you know what that means. The new DLC, uh, They Shall Not Pass, has just came out yesterday. And what's no better way to stay warm than with some hot new updates? We're happy to share with you some of the features we've been working on the last couple of months in the Battlefield 1 Winter Update, DICE announced. They even announced, we're bringing back the ever-popular ribbons from previous Battlefield items. We also heard you request to up class rank caps from 10. The new max class rank is now 50. Oh, and there will be unlockables on the way to maxing your class rank. There are plenty of other new features and improvements, both big and small. In the Battlefield 1 Winter Update, we look forward to seeing you on the battlefield. Some of the major updates they had are ribbons, elite uh, codices, Elite class max ranks, servers, game improvements, but you know what? We're going to do that one at a time. So now you'll be able to collect ribbons as you play. There are 20 different ribbons to collect, and each time you get a ribbon, you also receive 300 XP. These ribbons are designed to promote good team play and playing the objective. If you have suggestions for other ribbons you would like to add, we're always listening. This is just the beginning. Dice announced. For the major el update, Elite uh, Codices, it is now possible to unlock an Elite Codex for eight of your available primary weapons in the game. All you need to do is get 500 more kills per accessible weapon. Not only will you get a shiny elite codex, but you'll also be awarded 25,000 bonus XP. Not bad when you're chasing those new class ranks, huh? Another major update is the class max ranks. We were impressed by how fast players reached rank 10 in each primary class. The new max class rank will now be 50. Let's see how fast you reach max. When you hit 50, you'll be granted some extra nice class flair in the kill card to taunt your fallen foes. There will also be dog tags that you can unlock as you progress towards max class rank 50. And then now the major update of the servers. While the winter update was released and some highly anticipated rent a server feature, RSP admins will now be able to kick players from the servers using the in-game UI or swing a mighty man hammer if someone's misbehaving. <laughs> RSP admins will now also have priorities access to their server. On top of this, we added this feature to vote for the next map after the match is over. Players on the server will get two options to vote for it, and whichever alternate gets the most votes will be the next map. The options will be randomly selected from the server's map rotation. This is done during the end of the round screen, so no extra time before rounds have been added. Some of the game improvements they have fixed for the vehicles, the UIs, like for the vehicles, they, uh, they fixed some parts of the vehicles that were inappropriately placed in front of 1P cameras when taking or repairing damage to them. Fixed tank driver weapons visuals not functional correctly for other players when the driver uses a 3 person camera. Fixed an issue where the heavy tank would not show on the mini map when firing. Reduced the cooldown of gas abilities on vehicles from 30 to 30, 30 to 32 seconds to 25 seconds to make up for reduced gas duration. Fixed issues where multiple tanks could become available to a team when they shouldn't be. We will get to the UI server for the admins and all that in the next video. Because it's a long, 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 long list they had. But for the map adjustments, they fix an issue with floating debris after destroying a table. Fix an issue where players can get stuck in a table. Players will no longer clip through the visual mesh of windmill interiors. Grenades and dynamites will no longer fall through the floor of the windmill balcony. Remove flickering effect on tall wooden fences. Destruction fix between tall wooden fence parts. Fixed issues where underwater sounds could get stuck on land. Now this is just part one of the mini part series of the updates. And if you like to see it, please leave a like. Subscribe for more daily content. And, and you know what? J yeah, just subscribe and you'll see new stuff. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing my, gr my channel's actually grown a little bit. And that, that kind of makes me happy. But on a side note, in the next video we will be talking about the weapons, the UI... All the other stuff, even Spectator. But this is your host of Video Game Junkie signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.